What up, what up, School District 125. Most of you know me as Billy, sophomore class VP, but today, I'm also your lunch lady. And on today's menu is mittens. Some of you may recognize mittens, beloved class pet of Miss Baldwin's fourth grade homeroom. I have taken mittens to an undisclosed location where I fully plan to eat them in two days time. There is, however, a way to save mittens. So to everyone on the school board, I want you to listen up like I'm head of the PTA and my kid just got cut from varsity cheerleading. Bring back snow days. These are my demands, you have 48 hours. Oh, don't forget to like and share this video and follow me on all platforms for some quality mittens content. You know, until I eat them in 48 hours. First, thank you for all the likes and retweets. This thing is going fully viral and it's only been one hour. We are being heard when we use our voices, when we work together. And yes, when our class pets are faced with the ultimate sacrifice, change can happen. The school district has so far declined to comment, which I gotta say, doesn't look good for mittens. So let me make this really simple for all you boomers. You got snow days, so we should get snow days. It's just fair. I shouldn't have to like eat a bunny to prove that. Do you know how hard we work? You dump all this schoolwork on us every day on top of our responsibilities to our online presences, which you never had to worry about. We're stressed and we're tired. We just want one snow day every once in a while. And you know what? The only reason we don't have snow days anymore is because you ruined the planet. So don't go blaming us by like taking away our snow days. SMDH, honestly. Everyone else, please keep sharing and use the hashtag save mittens. Let's get this thing trending number one. Good morning, 850K, 850,000 followers. I mean, wow. Mittens and I want to take this opportunity to spotlight some you, throw some appreciation your way. So, um, oh, at Johnny Rat 5 tweeted a particularly compelling story. Johnny writes, I remember my last snow day. My parents had to work, so my girlfriend came over and we went to second base for like three hours straight. Yo, congrats, bro. That's a tremendous accomplishment. It was the best day of my life. To think that the first graders of today will never blossom into the sexual mavericks of tomorrow haunts me, and it should haunt you too. It does. It haunts me, Johnny. I know it haunts mittens. Thank you, sir, for your brave words. <clears throat> and uh, international climate activist Greta Thunberg dropped us a line, which is pretty lit. At Greta Thunberg says, this is exactly what I warned about re-climate change. Thank you, Billy, for fighting the good fight. Thank you, Greta, for helping bring awareness to the devastating effects climate change is having on our snow days. And uh, here's a new one from someone uh, at Martha Stewart. Martha writes, first bring four quarts of water to a rolling boil. <laughs> Oh, snap. It's a recipe for rabbit stew savage. You're sick, Martha. I am out. <laughs> Obviously, you know, some people have not been so happy. At PETA tweeted some things that are honestly kind of messed up to say to a 15-year-old. But you know what? I'm going to take the high road. PETA, I appreciate you engaging with my content, and I hope we can work together to sort this out. Unfortunately, nothing from the school board. So, you know, keep retweeting. We'll get their attention. School board, where you at? TikTok. Okay, I'm so sorry I've been posting all day. My psycho parents went all fascist and took away my screen time for the whole day. I guess snow day justice is just one more problem our generation will have to solve on its own. Anyway, my dad said I'm not allowed to use my phone to take class pets hostage and threaten to eat them as long as he's paying the bill. So, I set up a GoFundMe page so you can help me raise money to buy my own phone, plus some other stuff that'll help us win back snow days and save mittens. Link in bio. Every little bit helps. $5, $25, $500. Until then, I have to stay quiet, but you can catch me on Joe Rogan tomorrow a.m. for Mittens, Judgment Day Countdown. Keep retweeting. Uh, <clears throat> it's me, your uh, lunch lady. <laughs> oh, 10 years. Twitter finally lifted my ban, and, well, uh, I thought I should clear some things up. So, we never did get our snow days back. The school district called my bluff. I was never really going to eat that rabbit. Never even had him to begin with. Something like 10 minutes after the first post, the principal took mittens and put him in the bunny rabbit equivalent of witness protection or whatever. The fourth graders were still pretty pissed, though, because they weren't allowed to have a class pet after that. One of the little fuckers started trolling me on Twitter, telling everyone I was never really going to eat mittens, that I was sus and a poser, which was obviously pretty deadly to my brand. And then I was charged with fraud, 
had to return the entire GoFundMe Mittens Rescue Fund. And by Thursday morning, I was canceled. But I touched the sky. It was all over BuzzFeed. I even made the cover of Time Magazine. People still recognize me, which is cool. <laughs> but um, fame is a, uh, a double-edged sword. It's been hard to get a job. Vegans won't date me. I wish that someone would tell you when you're 15 not to like threaten to eat a bunny rabbit. They don't tell you. You're just supposed to know, you know? Anyway, I'm glad to be back. I guess I just hope that if uh, Twitter can move past this, so can we. Oh, I'll retweet this. Or don't. Um, I, I, I don't know.